Hey guys, Greg C96 here, coming at you with a video that you weren't expecting today. Um, because today, being Friday, is MHC day. I was planning on doing MHC December. Um, but this video was more important because if things go down the way they look like they might go down right now, I won't even be able to continue MHC. Uh, so let's let's talk about that. What am I talking about now? Net neutrality. Uh, you guys have probably heard a bunch about net neutrality. It's been in the news lately. It's been all over Twitter. It's like taken over the front page of Reddit. Um, it's everywhere. And even though it's everywhere, a lot of people don't understand it because there's a lot of misinformation going on about it. Basically, net neutrality. Um, people, and specifically Ajit Pai, chairman of the FCC, who's trying to abolish net neutrality are claiming that net neutrality is government intervention and government regulation on the internet. Whereas what net neutrality is, is regulation on the internet service providers, not the internet itself. Um, and because it's a regulation on the internet service providers, it's actually allowing a free and open internet to exist because it's enforcing that ISPs can't throttle websites they don't agree with, throttle websites that won't pay them, or charge you extra to access certain websites. Um, which is a definite possibility if we allow net neutrality to be repealed. Um, so what's going on? If you haven't heard about it from every other YouTuber making a video about it, uh, right now, Ajit Pai, former lawyer and Verizon bulldog, uh, who was very much anti-net neutrality back when he was at Verizon, was appointed as President Trump's chairman of the FCC. Um, bit of a conflict of interest there, maybe. Someone who's heavily fighting what the FCC does, getting thrown in, and immediately the two first big things he's doing, well, the very first thing he did as soon as he was brought in is chairman of the FCC, was stopped an investigation of his old buddies at Verizon um, for their shady acts as a telco. Uh, and then the next big notable thing is he specifically has stated he plans to dismantle net neutrality and get rid of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't understand, like, how people aren't, more freaking out about this and fighting harder the only way i really have to explain what it is is net neutrality is the only thing keeping us having access to a free and open internet because as soon as net neutrality is gone uh, every website you want to access you're going to be paying extra for uh, big websites are going to have or websites in general are going to have to pay extra to allow people to actually access them at high speeds so it's going to promote big business over small businesses it's going to kill off startups it's going to kill off any sort of web-based company it's probably going to put me out of a job uh, so that's fun and yeah net neutrality is important what can you do about it um well here's what you can do about it you can contact your government sent so your congress people your senators all them express to them you know, why net neutrality is important to you, what it means to you, um, why it's a good thing, and why they shouldn't vote it out. Uh, unfortunately, though, that won't necessarily do a lot of good either because of the fact that a lot of our senators and congresspeople have been bought out by telecommunications companies uh, for votes against net neutrality. Some senators have been real good and declined it, such as my senators here in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey. For the most part, a lot of these senators have been pretty good. But it doesn't matter because one of the things with the getting rid of net neutrality is it will be illegal for state governments to impose regulations on telecom that are greater than the FCC's regulations. So if net neutrality goes away, even if states don't want internet service providers to be able to screw over the consumer, doesn't matter. They're not going to be able to do anything about it because federal regulation will prevent them from doing it. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, my senators are doing really good. I've expressed my concerns to senators in my state. I can't express to senators outside of my state. That's not really how it works. Hopefully, if you express to your senators, they'll actually listen to you. I've seen cases and heard of cases where you, as soon as you start talking about net neutrality, senator hangs up on you. Um, but it's real important. Get in touch with them. You know, there's petitions on the web. Go ahead and sign those. Uh, share it out, talk about net neutrality on Twitter. 
Uh, we got to fight really hard here in this last little while, which is what prevented me from making this video sooner. The official vote is December 14th, 2017, which is just under two weeks from now. Because what's today's date? I think today's the first. Yeah, so it is two weeks from now when they will be voting on whether or not to abolish net neutrality. Um, so in two weeks from now, they're going to be voting to totally turn the internet on its head. And unfortunately, it's not looking like a very good time right now. It's looking like there is going to be a big, big turn in how the internet works. Things like YouTube and Facebook and all these common websites are going to cost extra. I'm sure uploading to YouTube is going to cost extra. And if net neutrality goes away, I am letting you guys know right now, uh, that is going to be the death of my channel. Net neutrality goes away, so does Greg C96. So if you believe in what I do, and you want to see me keep doing what I do, of course, that that's a joke because there's like 500 of you on a good day, not counting all the subscriber bots that have hit me. <laughs> um, if you like what I do and you want to see me keep doing what I do, it's time to you know, fight back and protect that neutrality. Um, reach out, talk to anyone who will listen about it. Let them know why net neutrality is important, what it means. Uh, head over to, what is it, battleforthenet.com. I'll put a link right here because I don't remember what the heck it's called off the top of my head. I think it's battleforthenet.com. Um, head on over there because they're doing good things. They're sharing a lot of really good information uh, as well as they are actually... What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, they have a tool for contacting your senators. Um, I think they have a couple of petitions going on, but it's important. We got to fight. We got to let people know why net neutrality is important, why what the FCC is trying to do right now is bullshit. And that's, that's about all I have to say about the issue. We need to fight back. We need to stop this crap. So uh, I guess that is it for this one, guys. Starting Monday, we'll be back to... Uh, sorry for the yawn. Starting Monday, we'll be back to the normally scheduled videos um, for now. As, like I said, as soon as um, if net neutrality gets abolished, Greg C96 is gone. And if net neutrality gets abolished, Big Box is gone. And, um, well, as you can see, if Greg C96 and Big Box are gone, my wall's pretty boring, so I'd really like to keep those things around. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble for the past couple of minutes here. And, um, well, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you're a complete idiot and don't understand why net neutrality is important. Uh, if you dislike it, you might as well just go ahead and get out of here and stop watching my videos because they're probably at too high of a level of comprehension for you. Just being honest. Uh, head on over to bigboxgamers.com. Just kidding. Head on over to battleforthenet.com because that's a far more important website for you to go to right about now. Um, link on screen and in description. And I guess, hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.